So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Um, more specifically, what we have here is a graph. So let's learn about this graph. The question says, in 1845, a family had $18 to purchase flour and bacon for their trip along the Oregon Trail to California. So I'm just write that down. 18 bucks is going to somehow give them some flour and bacon. The graph shows the possible combinations of flour and bacon in hundreds of pounds they could choose. Okay, so it looks like our x-axis is flour, but keep in mind that's in hundreds of pounds. And our y-axis is bacon, but also in hundreds of pounds. The question says, based on the graph, what was the price of 100 pounds of flour? So let's see. 100 pounds of flour. Um, this is a fairly simple question, but it is it can be very misleading, right? Because when I see 100 pounds of flour, my eye is drawn here to this number one here because I know that number one represents 100 pounds because we're dealing with hundreds of pounds. Um, I know that that somehow gives me some number that maybe it's like 320 or 330 pounds of bacon, but none of that tells me the price, right? So the only thing that this question has mentioned about price is $18, so the point on this graph that matters more to me, or that matters most, I should say, to me, is this point right here. Because that point right there, the x-intercept, basically says, if, you, if the family were to buy 900 pounds of flour, right, and no bacon, right, zero pounds bacon, right, that's what it means for that point to be actually on the x-axis. There's... At this point, right, you're not buying any bacon, only flour. So if, you know, they only had $18, they'd be able to spend those $18 on the 900 pounds of flour. Now, if that's the case, that means that $2 per 100 pounds is the price of the flour. So per 100 pounds of flour. Hopefully that makes sense, right? If it's $2 for 100 pounds, then we multiply by nine and we get $18, right? $18 for 900 pounds, which is exactly what the question tells us here. So the answer must be choice B, $2 per pound, or I'm sorry, $2 per 100 pounds of flour. And again, it's this X intercept that lets us know that the rest of the graph, none of this is very helpful in figuring out the price.